Hey YouTubers, what I thought I would do in this video is we're going to go through pencil sharpeners and we're going to sharpen color pencils. I know that a lot of you have been asking me uh, for the last year about uh, pencil sharpeners. Is it good for color pencils? And basically I didn't know because I didn't have any, but now I have some color pencils and that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's get to it. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here and uh, let me see. Um, might as well pick a color. Guess it really won't matter which because I'm pretty much going to be butchering these pencils for this sharpener test. Now let's go ahead and start with my one of my favorites here. It's the Helix A5 from the UK. And uh, this one of course is going to cause those little uh, uh, clamp marks to occur if it works. So let's go ahead and sharpen this up. Well, that is, looks pretty darn good. It looks like it sharpens colored pencils just fine. Very sharp point. I just kind of snapped off the end a little bit, but still look. It's pretty sharp. Yep. And that works good. Okay. So, you can sharpen colored pencils with the Helix. Now, the next one here is the Carl Angel 5, which is basically the same as the Helix, except that the Helix has these uh, adjustments here. So, you can, you know, different size tips, and we went for the longest tip because that would be the, the most fragile, I would think. So this is pretty much going to do the same thing, I would imagine, but we'll go ahead and test it nonetheless, and I'll do a different color. And it also has the claws, so you end up going to get these claw marks, which I'll show you what the claw marks look like here. Get it to focus. You should be able to see them right there. You see that claw mark? Yeah, that's not too much fun. So if you don't like this, look like your uh, pencils have been chewed on, um, you don't want to use these particular uh, sharpeners unless you wrap a little um, piece of paper around them. For example, I'll just take uh, one of these stickums and just wrap the stickum around there and can protect it that way but that's a hassle if you're trying to draw you don't want to have to keep stopping and wrapping that up okay that stopped it didn't do anything what's going on here okay we got nothing here so far let's try again might be because of my paper here okay I don't think that's going in so, let's tear some of that off. Probably too much. And it also sharpens color pencils just fine. Yep. No problem. Okay. So those two worked really good. The next one here we'll use is the, the Dolly 155. And yes, it also has the clamp. And uh, it's the one with the big diameter so it can sharpen really big pencils. But it should also hopefully sharpen a color pencil just fine. And we'll wrap this up as well here. We'll get another green pencil here. And see, this one does not stay open, so you're going to have to kind of hold that open and then squeeze that at the same time. That's a lot of 
coronation there, but there we go. Okay, that didn't do anything. It kind of a dull point. Let me see if I have it set to dull or something here, and I might. Um, okay, I think it was set to dull, so let's try again. It's a little stiff, kind of hard to turn, Ugh, but there it goes, it finally went. Okay, and as you can see, the Dolly 155 does a nice fine job, nice point, if you get the point. Alright, okay, so you can use that sharpener, that's fine too. You know, so far, um, every sharpener seems to work fine for color pencils, so I'm not quite sure why there's such a clamoring uh, as to what sharpener to use for color pencils. It seems like color, regular pencils seem to be the same so far. Anyway, here's a little Tegal, and you have five different adjustments. We'll use the uh, fifth adjustment here and see if that works. You know, because I'm not a color pencil artist I'm I'm not really quite sure what the what people are looking for as far as color pencil sharpeners but so far they all seem to provide nice little sharp points look at that that's a nice sharp point you know for little plastic to go there and you know clearly the the strength of the core of the colored pencil seems to be the key. If it has a, a strong enough um, core, it should be able to take the punishment of a sharpener. So the question isn't going to be so much what sharpener can I use for my colored pencils, but what color pencils should I buy that will not just snap off in a pencil sharpener. Okay, um, let's, here's the big triple, one of my favorites, and uh, let's try a, I believe that's black, we'll try a black, so uh, if you put it through the standard, got something in there still, if we put it through the standard um, sharpener hole there, okay, now these are, the, this is the first manual one we're using, and it didn't break the lead, so that's good. Okay, so nice sharp blade works good. Now if you were to put it in the other hole which extends the lead, and there I've there I've extended the lead. See how long that is? Now we'll just go to the part that gives it a point. And just carefully give it a point. I don't know if I if I'm going to be drawing with color pencils. I want to go through this much trouble to uh, sharpen my color pencil. But but there you go. That is a very long point that you can get with the big triple. Works just fine. And of course you're going to snap a little tip off if you got it too pointy like I just did. All right. Let me get rid of some of this stuff here. Okay. So far everything's working good. Now here's the Palomino Blackwing. This is the the Kum sharpener, K-U-M sharpener. And you can see right there it says Kum automatic long point. It's not really automatic because if you stick it in there Okay, go for it. Sharpen. Sharpen, go on. See, here in the U.S., automatic means automatic. Okay, it means it's supposed to do it by itself. We do have to do a little effort here. So, hole number one is to get it to sharpen until it stops. And then you get this big, long core sticking out. And number two hole, okay, I could feel it's very soft to that blade. 
hopefully doesn't snap it off. It doesn't look like it's going to. Well, there you go. Now that is a very, very, very long point. And that works just fine. So I would say so far, it, it really comes down to the pencil quality itself. Oops. Dropping them on the ground is not a good idea. You can break cores inside the pencil. So that that is an issue. So that there was the Kuhn Automatic or the Palomino Blackwing. It's the same thing. All right. I got this long point here. This is another Kuhn long point. You can see it says right there, Kuhn long point. And we'll use the yellow for that. Let's see if it's going to stop or it's just going to keep on going. Well, it looks like it'll just keep on going unless you stop it yourself. But yes, that is definitely a nice little long point. And I'm just, each one, you can hear the little, the little fine tip break off because it's, it's really too sharp. All right, so that's the long point. So far, we haven't had any problems with the sharpeners that we've used. Now this one here, I got, um, looks like it's an Apsara. Let's see if we can, look. yep, Apsara. You can see it says right there, with the stop. Some of them don't have the stop. I like the ones with the little stop. You see that little plastic thing right there. And uh, this comes free in a box of uh, Apsara Platinum Pencils. You can see the video on that. So we'll go ahead and sharpen with the Apsara until it stops because it's going to go right up to that stop. And when it stops, we'll stop. Okay, there we go. Nice, sharp point. Okay. works out really good too so there you go so the Absera works fine now of course you're gonna probably say well what about the Coombe masterpiece which I have all nicely stored away really nice well I know this is gonna work just great we'll give it the pink I think that's pink so we'll put it in hole number one first and you can see that it goes to the stop and then it stops. You can also take this off and you can keep you can keep going as long as you want just like the the big triple does which was um, this one right here. And then you put it in hole number two and that's what we're going to give that that a nice point. And for the most part you should just be taking the color off core off and not too much wood. Now if you see here, that is the craziest point, period. I mean that is just one crazy point. And I think that's the longest point that I have of all these sharpeners. And of course you can hear it snapping off, probably hear it snapping off the, the little tip in the beginning, but you can see it's still plenty sharpened right there. Okay, we get get that out of the way that's the coom masterpiece comes in a nice little spongy case so anyway that's it um, as you can see it really doesn't seem to matter any one of those pencil sharpeners work just fine for sharpening color pencils and so basically it really comes down to the quality of your color pencils then what sharpener you should use for color pencils because if you're looking for a sharp point well all the sharpeners that I just showed you in this video provide a sharp point but if you're worried about sharpeners will it sharpen without breaking the tip and so forth none of them breaks the tip of these black wing colors so this is a testament to that these black wing colors have a very strong core 
and yet they draw really nice. So there you go, and if you like this review of the sharpeners on color pencils, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. There's a little button there on the bottom right, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.